Hey there, welcome to my channel, Serious About Stars. My name is Jay. Um, in this video here, we are going to be talking about um, Pisces season here, which we are already in here in, in 2023. Um, this Pisces season, and it's already started when I'm making this video, but really what we're talking about here is um, the full moon in Virgo that is taking place on the 7th of March. We also have Saturn entering um, Pisces um, on that very same day, almost within the hour. So kind of interesting. We have a lot of interesting astrology going on here. We're going to continue to have some interesting astrology throughout the whole season here of Pisces season. So yeah, some interesting things to talk about. Um, but yeah, real quickly, um, before we jump further into this video, I wanted to remind you to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, Serious About Stars. Um, if you find yourself enjoying this video, I um, will be posting more content here coming up. I also do um, readings for all 12 signs that I just really do intuitively. Um, other than that, I have meditated on this energy here for um, this full moon in Virgo as well as um, Saturn entering Pisces and just kind of took a look at the charts and the transits here. But um, really, really the first thing that um, I kind of want to talk about here with this energy is um, this is about acceptance and courage and willingness is also about clean slates um boundaries may be tested here boundaries may be tested um there might be things that are going on that are really strange and unfamiliar and just weird in general especially this kind of second half of pisces really after the point of the full moon in virgo on the 7th of march we might be seeing weird things going on and it might feel like your reality is being flipped upside down like flipped over on its head and at first that could be very alarming um but the thing is is it's kind of like once you kind of are able to take a minute to look around and assess the situation and see what you need to do you might realize that this is still working like whatever is going on it still works and it's different but I do just kind of intuitively get the feeling that for a lot of people here, it might seem as if in things being flipped upside down, there's actually a better balance than there was before. In a weird way, it might seem like now it is actually right side up and before it was flipped upside down and we thought that everything was normal. Maybe our or maybe your normal was actually always flipped upside down, but it didn't seem that way because it was what you were always used to. And I just do feel that collectively, that could be what a lot of people are going through. But in that shock of things being flipped upside down, it's just kind of like, there could be um, a sense of panic there could be a sense of panic and especially right as Saturn moves into Pisces at the time of the full moon in Virgo. So we have that axis between um, Pisces and Virgo being completely lit up, completely. Um, and it's interesting too, because this has so much to do with reality. Both Virgo and Pisces have to do with reality, but different kinds of reality. Virgo is about the physical reality the body, the health, um, not just analysis and, and work and coworkers and routines and service um, organization, but the reality within the physical and Pisces is the spiritual reality, the kind of reality that's kept secret and mystical, the kind of reality you don't see, but you feel, but, and it inspires all, it inspires all. So at this time, something about your physical reality is, is, is being illuminated in some way or another um, or coming into fruition. 
something is changing something is changing within your physical reality something that the um spiritual side or the secretive side something that has been um kind of kept out of sight um is 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 finally giving is finally flipping upside down and this isn't really i feel like for some people you could come across this, these messages, this video, and it could trigger a sense of fear when you um, see it because it disturbs, you know, reality. It disturbs what you know, what you're used to. But um, I just, I want to say intuitively, this is only whatever happens in life, even even the, you know, misfortunes that everyone goes through at some point, it only brings you closer to your own truth. It only brings you closer to yourself and your, your authentic reality, what you came here for, your purpose. Um, so acceptance, again, acceptance, courage, and willingness are so significant. There is some kind of a clean slate and even peace with the past that is being made. And as boundaries are being tested as um, structure, maybe changing your sense of structure. Um, it, it may be as if there is something really malleable right now, like like as if boundaries or structure is very malleable. And I just would like to say that as things are malleable, as things are changing, there is, there is, a sense of intentionality that is very important as maybe if you think about how do I explain it like maybe it's like if you were um you know building something with clay right and it was left out in the sun I'm, I don't this might not be like accurate but just as a metaphor just as a metaphor go along with it <laughs> If like something was built of clay and it was left in the sun for a very, very, very long time and you were used to it and it had dried and it, you were used to it, but after time, maybe it began to melt a little bit and change a little bit and lose its shape um, and you weren't looking at it because you were used to it and it was always there, it wasn't, it didn't matter or something. Maybe it's kind of like that. Maybe at this point you're able to kind of reshape that because of maybe the heat maybe the heat and whatever you're going through some kind of pressure whatever is causing some sense of heat is allowing something to be malleable in your life so there is this um i guess i suppose this call to um reshape certain things but intentionally and with reason and with purpose not just kind of you know scratch it like all together and roll it up into a ball and toss it out or be like oh well it's no good or toss it out don't toss it out but um take a look at it and sit with it even if you don't want to look at it there might be something you don't really want to look at but this courage to kind of sit with it and and reshape it and, and really kind of maybe even think about it like use that that virgo energy um that analytical side um think about how something can serve a purpose maybe um and, and think about it, maybe this is a time to get a little bit analytical with, I don't know, something. Use that, that I guess, Virgo energy of this full moon around the seventh year of March to um, purposefully and intentionally reshape something and make it better, make something better. I don't know. Now, the, whatever this is, it's going to speak to a different area and in different people's lives. So you know, allow your own intuition to fill in blanks here in this in this video. Um, and if like a certain message doesn't speak to you, isn't something that your soul recognizes, then don't force yourself to take it. Only take what your, your soul recognizes here, what messages are truly for you. Um, don't take it just because I said it. Um, yeah, let me look down at my notes, see what else I kind of wanted to share with you guys. Um, 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 one really positive manifestation of this energy here 
um, is also kind of maybe um, coloring outside of the box or thinking outside of the box. It's kind of like, I just, I really do feel like maybe there's just this paper or this page that you've been accustomed to that has been normal to you. And it's like expanding far outside of that. It's like no longer only seeing the tip of the iceberg. It's really like that. It's really, that's really what it feels like. It's no longer the tip of the iceberg for some reason. Like there's, yeah, really, so, oh my gosh, I really feel like something is really being illuminated and exposed. Like there's no more hiding the rest of the iceberg. That's just kind of what it feels like. Um, so however that shows up in your life, I don't know, you know, um, how, but you know, allow this to be a positive here allow this to be a positive um yeah yeah i mean things are only things that are like in the shadows right typically associated with things that are maybe dark but darkness is only what that because it's being hidden what's what's underneath it with a little light can be very beautiful um yeah um okay continuing continuing here what else did i want to share with you guys um you know whatever it is in your life that is being manifested here it is is, is coming into fruition or being illuminated it's something that your intuition has prepared you for you're going to be totally ready. I, I say that also because um, on March 2nd, which is like, that's already happened. March 2nd has already happened. I'm recording this on the 5th of March. So um, Mercury and Saturn came into conjunction for a brief moment at the very, very tail end of Aquarius, just before, um, just before both Mercury and Saturn um will have or are slipping into Pisces. Um, so it's, it's kind of like, it's kind of like um, marking the trail, um, marking the trail that you will be um, traveling, but it's kind of like this is water energy. So it might be less of a trail that is, is marked and much more of like an ocean that you're being called, you're being asked to swim across and it's like, how is that a trail? How is that something that has been marked? How is that something I can follow? There could be fears that are being triggered right around here. But it's kind of like your intuition is trust. There is this need to trust your intuition. There is this need to um, pay attention to the signs and the synchronicities. There is also something here about setting boundaries as boundaries are something that will be tested throughout this um transit of of saturn and pisces which will be uh going on for a few years this is going to be a long transit but there is a need here to to set certain boundaries within within your discretion um here and I feel that being a very spiritual thing, like spiritual, um, like like their openness is important here. Openness is important, but also not allowing like yourself to wear blindfolds or yourself to have the, um, It might be about also taking things with a grain of salt when someone says something, not taking everything as entire truth, allowing truth to be a malleable thing, allowing, I don't know, allowing things to be malleable. I think that it is important here to allow things to be malleable, um, allow the water to reshape things soften things soften something something about being things being softened or your heart being softened um yeah yeah um what else what else do we want to share with you guys um but yeah expect there to be certain epiphanies and downloads that you are receiving that are preparing you for this this journey or this swim <laughs> that is coming up here for you um at this in this energy here with this this full moon in virgo and and saturn entering pisces here 
it's it's kind of preparing us actually also for um the um spring equinox when when um the sun enters aries here at the end of pisces season beginning of aries season we also have a lot more interesting astrology right around the corner so it's kind of like there is this window um but is still going to be open then but it's open now it's like this there's this pretty actually big window here of energy of things changing especially as we still have all planets direct um so there's a lot going on there's a lot that um you may be working on as well um a lot happening it's kind of like being kind of like funneled into this um i'm just kind of getting the intuitive message of like like um like a i don't know what is it like like a kind of like an airstream like things moving really fast like having a tailwind behind you and things just moving fast it being like i don't know suddenly things moving really really fast perhaps um and trusting in the process trusting in the process um yeah last i also i will make another video for um for the end of March when, when, um, yeah, especially the 20th through the 25th about of March, a lot going on. I'll make another video though, right before that, that next little window. Um, so yeah, do subscribe to the channel so that you, um, don't miss that video. Um, but last little, last little transit and message I want to touch on, um, before before we close this video here is on March 1st, we did have Venus and Jupiter come into conjunction in Aries. So yeah, a little positive note, I really would love to leave this video on. Um, there is something here about your heart being opened up to love and beauty and abundance, encouraging the expansion even of what you truly desire something something here about um something that hasn't been possible something that and within you that has been closed off perhaps and you didn't even know it there is this really this beautiful heart opening energy going on so whatever it is that you are moving towards it is important to allow your heart to be open allow yourself to listen to your heart your heart is a vital a vital key of um the path to take something about the path to take really be open to your heart because there's something here that only your heart is going to be able hmm like there's some kind of a key that only your heart has that you won't find in your mind or find in the physical reality um something that yeah your heart has the key here but yeah really um yeah i don't know this lovely heart opening energy i love that um okay well yeah so that was it um thank you for watching this video um do come again for the next video don't forget to like this video subscribe to the channel serious about stars i hope that you have a wonderful beautiful blessed day so much love to you and i'll see you guys in the next video bye